Alright, what's good everybody? It's your boy Keenan. and welcome to today's fifth blog. Here to talk about the Rose Bowl presented by Vizio between number six Stanford against an unranked Wisconsin. Now after watching um, what Oregon and Wisconsin trade scores in last season's Rose Bowl, I believe that there could be a premium this season. Stanford and Wisconsin will be in war in the trenches in this matchup as the Cardinals hope to hold on to um, Brad, the Badgers' powerful rushing attack led by running back Monte Ball, this season's Dolph Walker Award winner, given to the nation's best running back. 1,730 yards rushing, 21 touchdowns. He is now the new FBS record holder and most touchdowns in a career. He had an outstanding career as an, as a um, Badger for Wisconsin. I do like this kid a lot. And don't forget about James White, the backup running back for Wisconsin. He had a good season as well. 6.7 yards per carry. He will be definitely do well to replace Monte Ball whenever he gets the time to get the to get on the field and carry, get some carries. Now, I believe that the Stanford Cardinal defense does have enough talent and great players around that defense, particularly that front seven, to stop the ground game for Wisconsin. Trent Murphy, all Pac-12, Shane Skull, James Vonters, but they're going to have to play without defensive tackle Terrence Stevens. He's going to be suspended in this matchup. So that's we're going to wonder how they're going to perform without Stevens. Maybe this is a big loss on that defensive front, but maybe not. They have a lot of talent like I mentioned those three linebackers. I'm talking about uh, Vonters, Turp Murphy, and uh, Skull. Now, on the other side, Stanford has a good running back as well. Stephon Taylor, he's a workhorse for that Cardinal offense for over 1,400 yards rushing, 4.8 yards per carry, and 12 touchdowns. Now, he's going to be playing against a pretty good Wisconsin defense that allow 19.1 points per game. Their star player, I believe, actually they have two good players, but their star player is their linebacker, Chris Bowler, who, ha who is leading the team in tackles. He's going to have to be all over the field, but he does have some good defensive linemen, and I'd like to, I, I like to mention them just about real quick, like Tyler Dipple and Brendan Kelly, both these two players on that D-line that I think they're capable of getting to the quarterback, Keith Hogan, for, uh, against Stanford, and hopefully stop the run. They're going to be playing against a tough Stanford offensive line. Both um, Tiflin and Kelly, Diplin and Dipple and Kelly have five sacks overall this season to back up Bowler. Now, also on the defensive side, they have a great defensive back and Devin Smith, an all Big Ten performer, four interceptions and four pass breakups. I'm actually looking forward to see how he performs in this matchup um, for the 2013 NFL Draft. Now, he is a senior, so I'm definitely going to look at him. Now, on the other side, one secondary player that you everybody definitely knows about is Ed Reynolds for the Stanford Cardinal. Six interceptions this season, fifth in the nation, and he also also leads the nation in most interception return yards with 301. He's a great defensive back and he's a big time playmaker for that um, Stanford defense. Now based on what I just talked about, the ground game for both of these two teams and a good defense, the key in this matchup, the X factors, are the quarterbacks. Keith Hogan for Stanford and um, Kirk Phillips for Wisconsin. Both these two players have stepped up, stepped up and performed well overall when they did this season. Starting with Keith Hogan, nine touchdowns and three interceptions. And he even had a rushing touchdown against the um, UCLA Bruins in that Pac-12 championship in which they pulled off the close victory 27-23. to Now, Kirk Phillips, he has le le less, less experience, but he did step up and managed that offense well enough, handing the ball off over to Monty Ball and let him control the games. He has four touchdowns and one interception one interception this season and his limited amount of play. And there's top, top receivers for um, Stanford. Tight end Zach Ertz. He has over 800 yards receiving and for Wisconsin is Jared Aberettis. He has over 700 yards receiving this season. Both of these two players are going to be their top targets and the act, part of the X factors between Phillips and and Hogan in this matchup. I really believe that if Phillips could has a, contains that offense, manages well enough, and makes a couple of good plays for the passing game, I think Wisconsin can pull off the victory. But that defense, I believe, is a little bit tad better than Wisconsin and, and more talented overall, especially in that front seven. And with that being said, I'm going to have to go with the Stanford Cardinal over the Wisconsin Badgers. Now, I'm not, give, I'm not trying to disrespect Wisconsin. They had a great season. They surprised everybody, including me, and 
in that Big Ten championship in which they stomp on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And they can do the same against Stanford because Stanford um, kind of had a kind of struggled against the run against UCLA and that Pac-12 championship. But hopefully they're going to tighten things up on that defense, stick to their assignments, and have a better performance against a good rushing attack. I think that front seven is going to do well enough to stop Monty Ball and that rushing attack and force Kirk Phillips to make big plays. And Kirk Phillips is going to have to make big plays in order to win this game. But I think Stanford's going to take care of business on defense, so I have to go with the Cardinals over Wisconsin in this matchup, but this is the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl. This is going to be a great game for everybody to watch. It's being played right now. Kickoff is right now. It's going to be an outstanding matchup, and I'm going to go with Stanford over Wisconsin. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys is later on today. I have one more video to talk about the Discover Orange Bowl. Thank you for watching this vlog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.